Good afternoon and welcome. My name is Sandy Matheson and I'm vicar of an Anglican church on the south coast of England. Uh, I've been doing live streaming for the last couple of weeks, uh, two to three weeks now, and I thought I'd share uh, something that I found very helpful and that is a way to put words as an overlay over the top of uh, the webcam so that people can see the words and join in. Uh, what I'm going to do is show you two different ways of doing that. Uh, but before we do that, I want to show you the sort of thing that it can do. So uh, this is the uh, website of our church. And if you want to see the sorts of things that uh, this can do, then go to there. Uh, there are some recordings at the bottom uh, from Facebook that you can have a look at. Uh, we live stream morning prayers at nine and prayers at five, Monday to Friday, and also our Sunday morning service. Uh, but you can overlay words over the top of a page. Uh, words in white for me to say, words in red uh, for other people to join in. Uh, to do that, we use a program called Easy Worship. If you've got that uh, and you're working on a Windows machine, then that's great. Uh, there are ways of doing that. If you want to know, then please do contact me. Uh, but most of us don't have Easy Worship. So I'm going to show you a way of doing that uh, with what most of us do have on our computers already, and that is PowerPoint. So firstly, let's get rid uh, of Easy Worship. So I'm going to shut that down. So there we are, that's gone. Uh, and we're going to switch to PowerPoint. Uh, so uh, let's just pull that up and then go into PowerPoint. So here we are. Uh, we've got a PowerPoint uh, presentation and you'll see there's words uh, in different fonts, different colours. Um, uh, you need to play with the colours. Uh, I'm not sure these are quite right yet. Uh, play with the boldness of the font so that it shows up properly uh, against the background of your video. And you'll notice that the background here is green. That's really important. So the background of all the slides is green. And we're going to use that in a minute in order to be able to overlay the words. Once we've uh, got our slides together, we're going to go up to slideshow. So up here, slideshow, and then set up slideshow. So when we set up our slideshow, we want it to be browsed by an individual in a window, not presented by a speaker or browsed at a kiosk, but browsed by an individual. Uh, you can do this in PowerPoint. Unfortunately, you can't do it in Keynote, and I'm working on a Mac. I'd have preferred to use Keynote, uh, but uh, you can't unfortunately do it in Keynote. So we're working within uh, PowerPoint. Uh, my version is PowerPoint for Mac. So just say browsed by an individual uh, and click OK. And just there's no slide timings on this at all. Uh, you could do that if you wanted to do a particular thing on them. And then we go to play from start. And we'll find that a new window will open up. So that's great. Uh, we've now got the display of uh, those words and we can go backwards and forwards through them. We're now going to go back because the program that we use to overlay the words is a program called OBS Studio. OBS Studio is free. You can download it uh, from their website. It's available for Windows and for Mac and I believe for Linux as well. I'm using the Mac version here. Uh, the Windows version I believe is very similar but you might find some slight differences when you come to use it. So you'll need to load up OBS and you'll find you've got scenes and you've got sources. 
So at the moment in my sources for this demo scene, I've got a video capture device, which is my webcam. Uh, I'm using a Logitech C920 webcam, and I'm also using the same webcam for my audio capture. So we now need to capture the window that's got the words on it. So we go down to the bottom and click to add another source and we want to choose window capture. So you'll see there's lots of different sources here. Uh, if you were importing it from Easy Worship, you'd use the NDI source and set Easy Worship up to export or to save as a monitor NDI. But we don't want that. We want window capture to capture the PowerPoint window. Uh, and we want to call this PowerPoint uh, or call it anything that you like. So click OK. And we've now got a blank window here and we've got a red word with uh, some arrows against it on the side here. So we're going to click on those and you'll see lots of different windows that you could capture. So the one that we want is this one here, Microsoft PowerPoint with the name of the PowerPoint file against it. So we want to capture that. So just click that and you'll see it displays. So that's the display. And I'm going to click OK. You'll see there's some board around it, so it's not ideal. So I'm going to go back to my window and I'm going to just adjust it slightly to try and get rid. There we are. Rid of a bit more. Uh, where are we going? Uh, rid of the black borders. Just about OK. Um, now I want to make it full screen, so I'm going to press Control and F, and it's gone full screen. But you'll see there are some bits here uh, and here that we don't really want. So what we're going to do is grab the top bar and we're going to expand it a bit. And that will get rid of the excess bits that you don't want. But all we've got now is a green screen with the words and we've got no video behind it. So we're going to click on PowerPoint. We're going to right click and we're going to go to filters. So I'm clicking on filters here and then we want an effect filter. So we want to go down here and click add and there's all sorts of effect filters here that you can play with but the one we want is chroma key. Call it whatever you like. I'm just going to say OK, and you'll see immediately the greens disappeared. Uh, that's because green is the coloured colour that's chosen under the key colour type. Uh, I've not played with any of these other settings. I've not had to, and I'm just going to click close. And you'll see magically that the words have uh, been overlaid. Now I'm going to drag this window uh, off a bit, uh, as I would if I was doing this uh, for real uh, and live streaming it and you can now go up and down through the words uh, and there we are so you can overlay words that's great I'm now going to escape that so we are back to uh, I'm going to turn off that PowerPoint source we're back to PowerPoint and uh, PowerPoint has another way that you can do this. So there's two different ways that you can overlay the lyrics. So this time we're going to go to PowerPoint and we're going to go to File and Export. So I'm going to export these not as a PDF but as a JPEG. So I want to export all of the slides so every uh, save every slide. Uh, this is the resolution that I'm exporting to. Uh, I, that's the name of the file. You can change that if you want to. And that's where it is being exported to. So I now want to export those. And I'll get a message saying that that's been done. So that's fantastic. So we now say OK. And I can now close down PowerPoint. I'm done with PowerPoint. But what I now need to do is to import those as an overlay in OBS. So I want to click the plus again to the sources. And this time I want to click, choose an image slide show. 
So there's lots of different things. It's not an image, it's a slideshow. Uh, and we can call that whatever we want. I'm going to click OK. And there's a couple of things we change here. So we don't want the slides to change automatically. Uh, we want to do them manually. Uh, fade uh, is probably the best way to do them rather than swipe or slide. Uh, those are the timings if you want to do it uh, automatically, which we don't. We don't want to loop it. And uh, we want to leave the size and aspect ratio automatically. So we're going to image files, click plus, and we want to add a directory. So I'm going to click the add directory and I'm going to go to where my directory is. Here it is. I want to add that directory and you'll see we've got the first slide up and we've got the green screen on it. So let's click OK. So the next thing we need to do is to get rid of the green so we can see the video behind it. So we're going to right click again and choose filters and we want an effect filter which is the only ones that are option. So we click the chroma key again and we get the same effect. We want green, it's got rid of the background, click OK and there we are. But at the moment we can't go to and fro through the slides. So what we need to do is go to the settings. So on settings on the right here and we want to choose hotkeys. Then if you scroll through and I've got a lot of different things I've been testing and trying. Uh, so image slideshow is what we want. And on next slide, you can then click any keyboard shortcut you want. So I'm going to click the right hand arrow to go to the next side. And I'm going to click the left hand arrow to go to the previous slide. So just click those. If you do it wrong, I want to change it, then delete it click in the arrow in the box again and choose what you want. Click OK and now when we press the arrows we can scroll through. So that gives you an idea of being able to overlay words. Lastly what I want you to do, to do is to give you, an, give you an idea of the sorts of things that you can do with it. So you can overlay lyrics, you can overlay liturgy, uh, but OBS has a lot of other things in it, and I'll show you a couple of those as well. So the first thing I did uh, was uh, on Sunday, a family recorded a song for us to use. And I was asked if I could put some lyrics over the song. And in OBS, it's very easy to do. Uh, so you uh, get the video up and you'll add that as a source. And then you use recording. Uh, I'm not going to stop recording. Uh, so you record the video and put the lyrics over the top. So this is one that we used on Sunday. So that was a song that was recorded for us uh, last Sunday to be used in our Sunday service. And if people record videos, you can import those into uh, OBS to use. So we have people who do readings for us as part of our morning prayer. And this is one that was used this morning. A reading from Isaiah 53. Surely he took up our pain and bore our suffering. So that was uh, the recording of a, uh, a reading. We also have people who do prayers. Uh, so these were some prayers that we used this morning. Let us pray. Keep us, good Lord, under the shadow of your mercy in this time of uncertainty and distress. So they were prayers that were recorded. Um, 
Phil also recorded a talk for us, which he videoed on Sunday. Uh, I imported a video to make palm crosses. I'm going to show you how to make paper palm crosses. So let me take these ready-made ones. Ready -made ones. So that was a video that I imported. Uh, we also put uh, title screens up on the beginning and end of our live streams. So here's a uh, one for evening prayer that we would have used a few moments ago. And here's one that we use at the end of our live streams. So OBS is incredibly flexible as to what you can do with it. Uh, I hope this has been helpful to you. Uh, I'm happy to help and do other instructional videos, but I thought this might be helpful to those who are trying to uh, bring a slightly different way of putting liturgy especially out during these difficult times. God bless you and may he help you in your ministry.